Do you feel like you're sometimes just bombarded with negative feelings or thoughts? Well, today I wanted to talk about how to add in more positive feelings. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra point for you then as well. Now, if you want to keep connected with me even further, you can join me on social media and I will link that all my links in the show notes below. Now, I've been bombarded, particularly in the last couple of years, by quite a lot of like negative thoughts on some days. And that came from some circumstances. And of course, there are always going to be life challenges. Life is going to throw us bends in the river, uh, things that allow us to grow, right? Uh, but there were times when I was really bombarded with negativity. And what I came to realize is going back to some of my basics, um, is that there, there are three key areas where we think about and because our thoughts at the end of the day and this is put really simply is just the words and pictures in our minds and that's in three different areas the the thoughts we have about ourselves the thoughts we have about other people and the thoughts we have about the world in general so i'll say that again like our thoughts consist of three areas what you think about yourself what you think about other people and what you think about the world in general so therefore if we start looking at those three things and start adjusting some of these thoughts then it's going to create more positivity in our lives. And I'll ask you, does it help you when you've just got negative beliefs or thoughts about yourself, others, or the world? Because if you're anything like me, it didn't. Like I, I was very, I've had lots of resentment towards people. I've been like, oh, the, when I've had thoughts like life's unfair, it just doesn't do me any favors. Or I'm just like, I'm not doing good enough, right? There's ways of reframing that. Okay, so let's dive in. So thoughts about you. Think about when when you're thinking about, okay, maybe you, you sh you've fallen short on something. Think about that being growth. And then think about and list, I would suggest, do this every day for at least a week, five minutes, writing down everything that's great about you that you've achieved, no matter how small. Could have been like you got up on time, you, you went to the gym, you went exercising, you said something kind to someone. When you start rewriting what the great stuff is about you, your mind is going to keep searching for that and therefore feel more empowered. The second thing, right, others, focus on things, it's similar, but f focus on things people have done for you, kindness, acts of like love that people have done for you, right? Just think of like someone maybe opened the door for you, like someone said something kind to you. Just keep write down as many kind things you've received from others because again it's getting your mind to redirect onto the positive things you've experienced from other people and then the third one the world write down as many amazing things and things you can be grateful for from the world because when you do that and you keep recapping it again it's going to get your mind focused all of these are refocusing your mind so the first one I say, do that exercise, write down all the great things about you, right? And do that for a week, five minutes a day. Just don't let your pen come off the paper, write down all the amazing things about you, like no matter how small things you've achieved and write down like the characteristics that are great about you, right? The second thing, writing down just a big list of all the greatness you've seen from other people uh, towards you in your life, the kindness, right, they've given you. And then the world, uh, list all the amazing things you're grateful for, like running water, maybe a roof over your head. Um, your you've got food that you're able to eat. Just even the small things, because that's going to attract more great things to you. Now, I've got a final point for you as well, but I want to mention again that if you want to keep connected even more on social media, then you can find my links in the show notes below. Okay, my final point is listen and bombard your mind with things like audiobooks, podcasts, books. For From someone who's just really happy, really abundant, and you've got that genuine energy that they feel great about life. Because what I found when I've done that, I had a mentor like you, uh, a couple of years ago, and she was great. She was like really positive, really happy. And I wasn't feeling that great. And when I would listen to her like audiobooks or talk to her, I'd feel a lot better about life I feel really empowered really great and I just keep listening to her stuff again and again and I felt in a really good place I listened to one of my mentors Joseph uh, when I listen to him regularly 
like I feel really good about life or Peter Sage, one of my other mentors, when I'm listening to him, I feel really good about myself, about other people in the world, because that's the kind of mentality they've got. So find someone that you can model that you can listen to regularly and get that in your system more and more. So that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You'll improve other people in your life by working yourself as a man. And remember to leave with your heart, not with fear.